Flanders Waste Management Policy prioritizes the prevention and recovery of waste materials. Non-recoverable waste must be thermally processed with maximum energy and materials recovery. Flanders also invests heavily in water purification. This produces an increasing amount of sludge. As some sludge can't be reused, incineration with maximum energy recovery is the best solution to its disposal. CETA and Indever are giving this policy their utmost support. They've joined forces in Slaco and have made a resolute choice for the combined processing of non-recoverable waste and sludge in an advanced fluidized bed installation with maximum energy recovery. Fluidized bed technology is acknowledged to be the best available technology. The installation consists of three identical incineration lines and treats over 550,000 tons a year. The result of a 180 million euro investment, it's the largest of its type in Europe. The safety of all concerned and the highest quality standards are paramount in the entire process. Indever and CETA manage this with advanced environmental and quality control systems. Trucks deliver bulk waste into the covered waste acceptance depots. Sludge is discharged into one of the three sludge bunkers. It's then pumped into the incinerator in a gradual and controlled manner. Several shredders break down solid waste. During and after this shredding process, Overhead magnets remove ferrous metal from the waste with a view to subsequent recycling. Conveyor belts transfer the de-ironed and broken down waste to the storage bunker for the fluidized bed incinerator. Using a grab crane, the operator brings the waste to one of the three feed chutes and a large double screw pushes it into the furnace. Operators continually regulate and monitor the thermal process and the purification of flue gases. They can manage the entire process from the control room at any moment. Using checklists, they go through the installation several times a day and closely inspect every single part. so they work day after day to provide safe, high-quality processing with great attention to the impact on the environment. The incineration process takes place at a temperature of more than 850 degrees Celsius. At the bottom of the furnace, air nozzles blast primary air through the sand bed. This primary air thrusts the sand bed upwards into the oven, making it swirl and behave like a fluid. Two burners bring the furnace to the correct temperature. The waste is introduced via two overhead openings directly into the hot sand. It heats up, mixes with the sand and burns immediately. The temperature in the furnace remains constant thanks to the calorific content of the waste. The sludge is introduced to the furnace via the four side walls. Secondary air is blasted in above the sand bed to ensure optimal incineration. Below, screws draw the sand and ashes out of the furnace. The sand is sieved and returned to the fluidized bed incinerator. The flue gases leave the furnace via the flue gas channel and begin their journey through the flue gas treatment unit.
various installations clean the flue gases so they meet all emissions norms. These are even more stringent than European standards. The Denox installation sprays urea into the flue gas stream. This turns nitrous oxide into harmless nitrogen gas. The steam boiler cools the gases to 230 degrees Celsius. The electro filter removes dust. An adsorbent and lime are dosed into the CircoClean reactor. Lime captures the chlorine and sulfur elements from the flue gases. Heavy metals and dioxins attach themselves to the adsorbent. The flue gases are cooled to 160 degrees Celsius in order to facilitate the absorption of acidic elements. Baghouse filters remove solid matter. The flue gases are further cooled to 65 degrees Celsius in the wet gas wash to condense volatile elements. Washing the flue gases with sodium hydroxide removes the remaining chlorine and sulfur. The wastewater from the washing towers is treated and reused. The residue from the flue gas washing unit is treated in an environmentally friendly way. The treated flue gases leave the installation via the chimney. An emissions laboratory is located at the chimneys. Here the flue gases are sampled and various components continuously analyzed online. All relevant parameters are checked to be sure that the gases fully comply with stringent emissions norms. Processing in this fluidized bed installation recovers a maximum amount of energy. The vertical steam boiler ensures the recovery of the energy released during incineration. The steam boiler consists of a network of water channels. The heat from the flue gases turns the water into steam. The steam produced goes to one of the three turbine generators on site which converts the steam into electric power. Part of the electricity is used in the installations on site and the rest is fed to the public electricity grid. The energy produced is equivalent to the annual electricity consumption of 70,000 households. Afterwards, the steam is once again cooled by huge fans and condensed into water, which is piped back to the steam boiler. Slaco has chosen a sustainable and safe thermal method to process non-recoverable waste, industrial sludge, and sludge from water treatment facilities in a high-technology fluidized bed incinerator with maximum energy recovery. In this way, Indivere and CETA are working together to implement Flanders' future-oriented waste management policy.